Thank you for joining me for this introductory walk around of the brand new Honda Jazz. Now, if you're familiar with the outgoing third generation Jazz, you'll be pleased to see we still have the elements that make a Jazz a Jazz. What you'll also notice is everything is brand new and a contemporary design as well. So what we're going to do in this little video is take a look at the outside, some key points for you, and then we'll take a look inside so we can look at the associated technologies and the features and the benefits for you as a driver. Now at the front we can see the, the smooth lines of the, the front bumper and they have the integrated parking sensors on this particular model. Now we do have an EX here so it does have a real high level of technology and features on this car. But from the, uh, the smooth lines of the bumper we lead us straight into the LED headlights. Now we have full LED lighting at the front and the rear and this is really important because it not only gives you a light that is more like daylight, so less fatigue when driving at night. It's also much brighter, so you can see further, but you'll be seen earlier as well. So this is going to keep you safer on the road. Moving up from the lights, you'll see the smooth lines of the bonnet. Now, underneath the bonnet is the heart of the power plant of this car. So we are an EHEV vehicle. What that means is that we have a petrol engine and two electric motors to power us along. So the car has three driving modes. We have EV, so electric vehicle, where the car is completely propelled by the power that's stored in the high voltage battery at the back through to the front wheels and we're driving along. And we have a hybrid mode where the engine is running and it's generating electricity and that in conjunction with the high voltage battery at the back powers the electric motor to drive the front wheels. Third mode is engine mode. In engine mode, the petrol engine is physically turning the electric motor to drive us along and the car figures out what is best and what is going to give us the best performance and economy in any given situation. So this car has incredibly low uh, CO2 emissions, it has really good fuel economy figures, the best we've ever had in a Jazz and that is because of our new hybrid power plant. In addition to the three driving modes, it also has regeneration. So regeneration which will utilise that potentially wasted energy and it will store it up into the high voltage battery at the back. So there's no need to plug this car in and you can benefit from the, the good fuel economy and the low CO2 emissions also. Then, when we move up from the bonnet, you'll notice that the, the wiper blades are in a blacked out section just towards the, the lower part of the windscreen. This is so the driver can't see anything other than their view ahead. There is no distractions from the wiper blades on their forward vision. Visibility has always been a key feature when driving a Jazz and it's got even better now. So the A pillars on the car are incredibly slim. What this means is that Jazz previously had a 69 degree angle of visibility and we've now increased that to 90 which is class leading. So you're going to be able to see more of what's ahead of you but also what will be approaching from the sides is going to be an easier, clearer view as well. Now at the top of the windscreen you'll see a really subtle camera and that has a number of jobs, one of which is contributing to helping sensing a package that we put on all of our Honda Jazzes to help keep you safer on the road and also reduce driver fatigue and make sure that you can enjoy driving the car even more. So there are many features within Honda Sensing. If we pick just one, we have Collision Mitigation Braking System, or CMBS. So that is a system that uses the brakes to mitigate a collision. What do we mean by that? Well, whether it's at low speeds or high speeds, if the camera at the top of the screen sees a closing speed between our vehicle and a lorry, a van, a truck, or some vehicle in front, it, on my behalf, can apply braking to mitigate that collision. If I was in a built-up area and a pedestrian walked out in front of me, the camera will notice that as well. And as long as I'm travelling below 60 miles an hour, the car can apply braking on my behalf and a full emergency stop. It can even recognise a cyclist crossing the path in front of me, all wrapped up into this one fantastic feature, which is collision mitigation braking system. But this is just one of many features we have when we talk about Honda Sensing. If we move our way around the car, what we'll see is we have really short overhangs. So this is important to us because driving the car is going to be a really comfortable, pleasant experience. But what we want to make sure is parking it is also a really easy experience for people as well. So that's why we have short overhangs at the front 
and at the rear. Behind those front wheels, we actually have low friction suspension. Now that seems like a really strange thing to say we have, low friction suspension, what's that for? Well, the job of suspension is to keep our tyres in contact with the road to keep us safe. The secondary purpose is to keep us comfortable inside and we know UK roads are not perfect. So the lower the friction on the suspension, the better the ride comfort's going to be inside the car, which is fantastic. And that really takes us to the very back of the car where we can see the EHEV logo on the back. And we'll open the tailgate now so we can see inside the boot. Now Jazz has always been famed for its practicality, its usable space inside the car. Now even though we have a hybrid battery in the back of the car, we still have 304 litres of usable boot space. Not only that, but the edge where we'll be loading in and taking our shopping out from is really quite low as well. So making it easy to live with, easy to load up and equally unload the vehicle as well. Then when we move around to the driver's side, we'll open up the back door and also the front door and we'll see just how wide they open. But you may notice as we open them, they have three stages. Depending how much space somebody's left you in the car park depends on which of these three preset positions you might want to leave them in. So really easy access whether you're getting to the back of the car or the front of the car. And now the driver's door's open. If you'd like to get into the driver's seat, I'll just pop round the other side of the car and get into the passenger seat. Now we're inside the car, you get a real good feel for the premium nature of the materials that have been used. So right off, you can see the quality of the, the steering wheel, the quality of the material on the seats is fantastic. Also, something you can't feel, but I can, is how comfortable these seats are, which is gonna be brilliant for both short and long journeys alike. Also, we have heated front seats. So again, keeping us nice and comfortable temperature-wise, as well as from a posture point of view. And not only do we have heated front seats, but we actually have a heated steering wheel as well. And while we're talking about seats, it wouldn't be a jazz, would it, if we didn't have magic seats in the back. So we know those, we love those, and we've retained them into the car as well. If we look forwards, we'll actually see the flat dash that we were talking about earlier, and the fact that we can't actually see the wiper blades. All we can see is our forward view of the road ahead and our surroundings, because of those really narrow A pillars. So, 90 degree angle, class leading visibility out of the front of the car. We also have our nine inch monitor on most of our jazzes, and what that's gonna do for us is give us things like Apple CarPlay, on the screen, but it's now wireless. We can have our navigation. We can also, if we want to, we can add Honda Personal Assistant to the Connect system as well, which will give us the ability to, to voice command into the system, very much like Siri or our Google Assistant. So we can look for a, a restaurant uh, that does Italian food with free parking and is suitable for vegetarians, all literally through my voice by saying, okay Honda, and following it on with the command. Inside the car, we have 10 airbags. So the additional two are coming from the, the front driver's seat, and that would protect the driver's head from the passenger's head, and also a knee airbag. Again, just improving the, uh, the safety of the car. So 10 airbags in a compact car is absolutely phenomenal. From a practical point of view, we have storage all over. We have it in the center, we have it in the door pockets, and we have a secondary glove box as well, just above the regular glove box, giving us even more practicality inside the car. Thank you for joining me on this uh, introductory walk around and tour of the new Jazz. So for you to get a closer look at this new car, please contact your local dealer.